Lonnie Teeper with Ruthless Ruth Silverman from IronManMagazine.com. We're going to take you inside the 2011 Mr. Olympia. Ruth, I say the ultimate beef makes it five Sandals. Lonnie, you know I hate it when you're right, but I say you're right. I say that this year he will definitely be motivated. Jay will come back with a vengeance, and he will be in excellent shape, and he will not be denied for that fifth Sandow. Now, remember two years ago when I predicted he'd be the first man to come back and regain the Sandow. No one's ever done it in bodybuilding history. Nobody agreed to me. They thought he was done when he lost to Destro Jackson three years ago. They always think everyone's done when they don't do it. But this is, you know, this is a, 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 a this is a sport of comebacks. And Jay was not done yet. He was still relatively young. He's what now? What, 38? Just turned 38 this month, August. All the greats had August birthdays. Like me. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Any, I think the reason that I stick with Cutler every year, and it's the same reason year in and year out, uh, is he's just too wide for everybody else. You know, especially if he's in good condition. When, you, when he stands there, I remember one Olympian, I thought he was way off, but at the end of the night, he stood side by side with Victor Martinez, yeah. I believe it was 2007. He still was twice as wide, and when you see that width, it's hard to overcome. Victor was in his shade. Exactly. Yeah. And especially that happens when he stands next to Phil Heath, who I think and I think you think are going to come in second. Phil just doesn't, even though I think he is a Mr. Olivia in the making, absolutely. He doesn't have the width, but he doesn't have those wings. Well, Jay's going to be probably 255, 260 pounds. Heath around the same height at 5'9", will probably be around 240. The Lions say 250. I agree, Heath will be Mr. Olympia down the road, but I just don't think it's going to be this year, unless Cutler comes in off. Well, I think when we make these predictions, we are basically saying, all things equal, the guide comes and brings his best. The guy doesn't bring his best, of course we're going to be wrong. It's the beef versus shape. Will, will the gift finally be unwrapped, though? A lot of people are going his way. I, uh, they are. Uh, not this year. That would be, in, it may be, you know, if they keep going at it, he could beat Cutler the way Cutler finally beat Ronnie. Cutler beat Ronnie, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So it could happen, but maybe not this year. Well, you know, a guy that doesn't get a lot of respect, but I'm giving him respect, and you're giving him respect, because I know we're both placing him in third, is uh, Branch Warren. Will Branch take the Sandell back to the ranch in Texas? I think not. I think he, if for him to get third in this company, given the situation, would be his best outcome, an excellent outcome, because there's got a lot of guys knocking down that door, like Dennis Wolf, for instance. Where do you have the situation in this lineup? The situation, Mr. Wolf? No, the situation in Jersey Shore. Oh, I have him, like, out to lunch. <laughs> okay. Branch Warren, you know, I mean, the guy's really brought up his upper body over the years, and he's always used to just be known for these tremendous legs, but he's really, you know, he, he won the Arnold Classic this year. He did. But he's been second in the Olympia two right. years ago. Does he have any chance? You think no? I think that he'll bring it. I think that in the end, the, the structure of Phil Heath and the size and structure of Jay Cutler will edge him out. But he will look good. He is very motivated. Got a kid coming. Got a kid on the way. He got a lot of motivation for wanting those, you know, Samackers, those Somalians in the bank account. But I think that he won the Arnold Classic because those other two guys weren't there. Well, he also won the most muscular five years in a row there. Well, no one is denying that man's muscle, and he really has improved his symmetry beyond what I think anyone could have thought he was going to do. So, I mean, he's been an amazing athlete, that is for sure. I still think it's going to go one, two, three. Will the Olympia be going green in 2011? No. <laughs> no, no. A lot of people say if Kai Green comes in in his top shape, won the New York Pro, is he back? He had dismal performance last year. Right, and I think the word is if, 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 if my booby had had, you know what, she'd have been my grandfather. Uh, if Kai Green can be consistent, which he is not. He's a great bodybuilder, don't get me wrong, but I'm not counting on him to do better than Branch Warren. Well, our videographer today, Wild Bill Comstock, he thinks Kai Green could take this thing. He says the guy's got muscle like nobody has. The density, uh, you know, the those posing. Things, those things are true. They are very true, but you got to nail it on contest day. And so far, Kai, not so good at the Olympia, better at the Arnold, better at the other shows. You know, a guy that I was down on last year, I didn't even pick him in the top ten in my Olympia predictions. He finished fifth, uh, had a strong. He started out slowly yeah. at the Flex Pro. I think he finished third or fourth at the Flex Pro was Dennis Wolf, but he bounced back. 
a tremendous performance in Columbus, Ohio with a second place finish. Dennis is on a roll. I've got him uh, fifth here actually behind Kai. I'm going with Kai for fourth and Dennis for fifth. But that's only because of its pecking order. I, I Still again, Dennis a little inconsistent. He's been on a roll this year. He could surprise everybody come in higher than what I'm saying fifth, but I definitely that would be this placing. Yeah, I really had trouble when I went to the sixth slot. You know, Dexter Jackson still a wonderful bodybuilder. He just has an absolutely great physique. But looking at recent results, I just don't see him uh, making this top four or five. And but then you got the great Victor Martinez. Physically could be as good or better than anybody in the show, but you never know how Victor's going to show up like Kai either. So I'm going with, with Dexter in sixth and, and Martinez battling right there. That could be a flip-flop. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a first. Lonnie and I agree on everything. All six. <laughs> All six and seven. I'm going for Victor in seventh. Okay, so here we have our 2011 Mr. Olympia top six predictions. Both Ruth and I have the ultimate beef. Jay Cutler winning it. Phil the Gift, Heath in second, Branch the Ranch, Warren in third, Kai or will we be going green in fourth, Dennis the Big Bad Wolf in fifth, and sixth place probably to the Blade, Dexter Jackson. Yeah, and, and the big question, of course, is, and remember, I love Dexter physique. He could win and I'd be happy. I love those flex wheeler type physiques. So it's not about what I want. It's about what I think will happen. The question, will he fall out of the top six or will he surprise everybody and really may, nail it? and nail the judge's favor. I think he's going to be in great shape. I think Dexter always is. But like you said, he's been finishing lower with each show. One quick, quick, 30 men are qualified for this show. Uh, but I'm pulling out. <laughs> yeah, well, that makes it uh, funny. I, I, yeah. I'm holding water. <laughs> yeah, you certainly are. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. All right, let's take a brief look at the 202 and under division. And I, I don't see anybody beating the beast, Kevin English. He's won three years in a row. Guy looks like he's 230 pounds on stage. Yeah, you got to wonder, though. You know, the 202 going up to 212, but may so, but still. The guy, two, it's still 202 for this it is, Olympia. It is absolutely. goes up right after the show. In my view, I think Kevin English and David Henry pretty much have those top two nailed. Well, I tell you, if Henry can finish in the top two being deployed the last eight months, oh, yeah. that'll be the greatest finish of all time. So let's take <laughs> David. He's not doing it. I don't think he's doing it. He was deployed months ago. So, you know, David's in the Air Force, and uh, I think it's the Air Force, one of those branches of the service. He is in the service. Anyway, uh, I don't think we'll see David Henry there, uh, but you never know. Well, that would move my pick for third up to second, and that would be my man, Jose Raymond. You know I love all our Teen Universe champs that we covered for years, and a lot of them are in this show. Jose's a wonderful bodybuilder, and uh, I don't know if Eduardo Correa is going to be doing the show or not. If he's doing the show, I'm going English first, Correa second, Jose Raymond third. Okay, I'm flipping Jose and Correa, basically. I'm going to say Jose will come through with that mass he has accumulated. Fourth place, I'm going with uh, Flex Lewis. Fifth place, Von Etney. He looked great at winning oh, the Team did. Universe. And in six, my man, Stan McQuay. I, you know, I saw Stan on there. I saw who beat him earlier in the year, and so I did not pick him for a top six spot. But I'd be pleased as heck. You know, I like those symmetrical bodybuilders. He's got a great physique. I'm pretty much with you. I, I J James Lewis. I'm saying Tricky Jackson or Guy Cisterno could crack into the top six as well. I like Cisterino. Cisterino's had a great year. I, I believe he's trained by Dave Jumbo Palumbo. Looked uh, great. He's won a show. He was second in another. Yeah, he's a guy that I was vacillating back and forth with for that six slot. Absolutely. That was that was my feeling. And I, I admittedly, the 202 guys are just not what I'm, I'm not really up on them as much as the others. But what about our friend Marvin Ward? Managed to get himself invited. A mighty, but one of probably the best physique on the stage. The human statue, I think he's just a little too small, still a beautiful physique, but it's going to be very tough for him to finish in the top six. Okay, uh, that's our inside look at the 202 and under.